you may come across a situation where you want to cut a part that's the exact width of the piece of material that you're cutting this out of. So we've got a piece of bar stock here that's four inches wide, our part's four inches wide. So obviously we want to cut the inside holes and then be able to start off the edge of the sheet and trim off one end and then come over here and trim off this other end. So I'll go ahead and add my toolpath on here. And of course if I try to just nest this on the sheet, let me stick this on the end here. So if I try to nest this onto a sheet, we'll try to nest on there. I've got zero collar on the sheet right now. Let's see if we can get fit five on there. So put, put some on there. Now for more even spacing, I could set my rotation to none. And if I'm going to want to clamp these onto the sh on the end, I can slide this down center a little bit there on my sheet. If I want to be really particular about that centering, when I select the parts and do my move command, it's going to pick a point that's in the center of those. Hit enter, base point. If I do R, the R snap is a centroid, and if I hover on the perimeter of the sheet, then it'll find the center of that sheet there. So of course, if we try to go cut this, we've got the cuts along the edge here that we don't really don't need. So this is where the on the cam tab, the quick command uh, can come in handy. So I'm actually going to delete all these tool paths off of here for right now. And we're going to also delete the tool path off of this part. And then we're going to use our quick command. And we're going to use the contour option. And I'm going to work my way essentially counterclockwise around this part. We're going to start with the cut on the right end because we don't want to necessarily do the one on the left end first because then the part will come free from our bar stock and float so we'd want to work got right to left on here I'm envisioning and cutting the right end first so we're going to start down here have our tool compensation on the right and then come over here and start at the top and work our way down and also have the tool compensation on the right. So we've got the contour option selected tool on the right. I'm using the user piercing option just to pierce off the edge there. I've got a lead in length, lead out length and then normally this connect to bar box is checked. We'll show you what we'll do here with this, that later and then lead angles. So if you want to be able to specify the angle that you want to lead in at you have this box checked and click single down here at the bottom select start point so we're going to start down here it finds the closest end point and then we're going to left click up here so it knows where it's going to start and end now it just wants to know information about the lead in which is what it's asking for right now so i've got my ortho is currently off so i can move this around and i just left click in the angle i want to lead in at and then same thing for my lead outs can kind of position that how I want to lead out if I want to come at 90 degrees whatever so we'll left click and we've got our lead out there so lead in and lead out and then can do the same thing down here at the left end we're gonna start up here this time and we're gonna end down here and then left click for lead in left click for my lead outs and we'll hit enter because we're done with that and close it so right now this tool path is connected to the part. If I click on the toolpath, it selects the part. So I can disconnect this toolpath from the part and then copy that to my other parts so I don't have to do the same thing five, six times, whatever. So under the modify submenu on the cam tab, you have the disconnect option and select parts. We want to disconnect from this part here. So now when I click on the toolpath, you'll see that it just selects the toolpath and not the parts so now I can move and copy and such so CAD tab we'll use our copy command and we're gonna select that toolpath hit enter base point I'm gonna go with center point we'll go center point to center point to center point and so on and 
center. Okay, so we've got that. So now we can go ahead and cam tab. We can do our order button. So depending on how you've got this set, you might, by default, you might have that set as closest. In that case, it's going to probably start with the part on the left and want to work from left to right. Again, we probably don't want to go in that order because the parts will start floating and be free depending on how we got this clamped down and such. So ideally, we probably want to start with this part on the right. So a couple different options to do that. You could do the right to left options. So anytime you change the sorting options, just click on sort again. It actually applies that. So in that case, it would start and do that. Uh, the other one, if I go back to closest for fun here, the other option would be you could do manual. And if you click on sort, you would then click on the sequence that you want to do these in. Which, if you have a lot of them, can be a little bit time consuming. But the other option would be, if I go back to closest just to make this apparent, is if you do the as placed and sort because we put these tool paths on the parts in the order that I want to cut them, as placed would also follow that. So you got few different options there to optimize the uh, cut sequence and of course the arrows down here. So once you got that then you should be good to go. Of course we can do our process and preview it and make sure everything looks good. So we'll go down, cut the four inside holes, cut the right end, cut the left end holes and so on. So if you have any questions on how to use the quick command or the disconnect tool, let me know. Thanks.